Friday Night Football, college applications, and no Riverdale parents? I'm Jay Lag. And I'm NB, and we are running down the top five things we learned from Comic Con 2019. First off, you may already know this, but it is the most exciting for us. Riverdale season four will be all things senior year. The season is really gonna have a lot to do with senior year. And football games, Vixen practices, relationships. House parties. This includes a homecoming game. The Vixens are back on screen. We even get a hot new principal played by Kara Smith, who you may recognize as Jack McPhee from Dawson's Creek. Season three was just too crazy, so we are both super excited to have a basic ass senior year at Riverdale High. For those of you who love the flashback episode in season three, get excited because it's confirmed. There will be another flashback episode in season four. Lily Reinhardt confirmed the episode in an interview and even hints that it will be from a different time era. Probably. I think we're going to do another flashback episode. Yeah. yeah. That would be so, I would love that. I think we are. But a that different so era. era. A, a different era. Not only do we get a flashback episode this season, but Roberto also confirmed we'll finally get a Halloween episode. Considering that the show is all horror motifs, I just can't believe that we've never had a Halloween episode to begin with. So this is super exciting. And real talk, we just want to see what everyone dresses up as. Roberto mentioned some possible characters from the DC comic book universe. The Halloween episode is slated to air on October 30th and will be the fourth episode of the season. Also, someone's going to die. Someone died? Yes. <laughs> Actually? Our number three spot goes to Jughead Jones, who is apparently going to prep school in season four. A little random, and I don't know why this is happening, but Jughead gets a scholarship to some prep school far from Riverdale. So you already know that Bughead gonna do some long distance relationship tangs. Or not. Cole Sprouse alludes to the whole storyline as this gossip girl Upper East Side thing. Which sounds really interesting, and Roberto even added that Jughead's new school has the Stonewall Stags, which will be the rival team for the Riverdale Bulldogs. Guess we'll have to wait and see how that will fit into the season. Season 3 left us with one of the biggest cliffhangers as we see a flash forward of Betty Veronica and Archie covered in blood, disposing of Jughead's clothing. So is Jughead dead? What leads up to this event in the woods? We don't know much more, but Roberto hints that episode by episode, we explore the timelines leading up to and after that night in the woods. Jughead is probably alive, and you'll be glad to know that he was originally written into the script for that scene, but then he chose not to because he was too cowed. So rest easy, Jughead is probably going to survive season 4, but he may not survive the bougie of that prep school. And number one, this is the one we've all been waiting for, and it looks like the creators of Riverdale are going to give Fred and Luke Perry a big send-off in the season 4 opener. We know now that the character of Fred Andrews, Archie's dad will pass away in the series and KJ says that Archie's storyline will center around him honoring the legacy of his father. We also know that Molly Ringwald will be stepping in as a full-time mommy to Archie. Not only are we getting some returning cast members like Ashley Murray, we are also getting a special guest appearance from Shannon Doherty who played alongside Luke Perry in 90210 Beverly Hills. And that's the tea from Comic Con 2019. If we missed any of your top moments, leave us a comment below or tweet us at recap underscore rewind. And don't forget guys, stick around and listen to the full Comic Con review podcast on our YouTube channel. It's going to be on Spotify, it's going to be on iTunes, so be sure to stick around for the full version of this on our platforms. Thanks for listening. Bye. Bye.